Welcome to the Science of Clock Change, a video series by Save Standard Time to explain how clock time affects our lives. This series was made possible with generous funding from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine Foundation. Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson. I'm a professor of neurology and a sleep medicine specialist. In this video, we are gonna address one of the most common myths that is used to support permanent daylight saving time, that an extra hour of evening sunlight would increase physical activity and improve health by reducing obesity. I asked Dr. Jessica Farrell, a PhD at Northeast Ohio Medical University, who studies how circadian rhythms affect metabolism. Can you tell us, do children actually exercise more during daylight savings time? That's a great question. A few studies have looked at whether daylight saving time increases physical activity levels. The largest studied more than 20,000 children from nine countries only in the weeks before and after the clock change. This study found a six minute increase in average activity levels in the afternoon hours after the one hour change to daylight saving time. This effect was seen in children from Australia and some European countries, but not in the United States. Furthermore, other places like Brazil and Madeira actually found a trend toward reduced activity after changing to daylight saving time. Wow, so there's really different effects depending on where you live, and it sounds like the United States just, we don't exercise more when it's light out later. That's correct. Location and climate likely play a big role in physical activity levels during daylight saving time. Daylight saving time may only have an impact on exercise in the fall and spring when sunset would otherwise be earlier. Summer's heat and winter's cold may be more important factors that determine whether people exercise rather than the timing of sunlight. A study of children in Texas supports this theory, with their finding that kids exercise less and sat around more in the summer than they did during the school year. This study also found that kids had shorter and later sleep times in the summer, suggesting that the negative impact of later sunsets on sleep may have also been a reason for the reduced activity. So how about adults? Let's look at two studies. One study compared people in Arizona, which uses permanent standard time, to nearby states that observe seasonal daylight savings time. A second study surveyed Australians' activity levels before and after a trial introduction of seasonal daylight savings time. Both studies found no consistent change in the total amount of exercise, merely a shift in the time of day that people exercised. Another way daylight savings time can affect activity is through sports performance and injuries. One study found that marathon runners finished 12 minutes slower in races run on the day of the spring clock change to daylight saving time compared to years when the races weren't on the clock change weekend. Other studies show that sports injuries increase after the spring transition to daylight savings time, but not after the fall transition to standard time. While these studies only evaluate the short-term effects of clock changes, other studies of sleep deprivation and social jet lag show these same types of effects would be expected with permanent daylight saving time. For example, teenage athletes who slept less than eight hours per night nearly doubled their risk of injury. Other studies show that better sleep improves reaction time, shooting accuracy, sprint times, and mental well-being during games. Even if daylight saving time could increase physical activity, would it result in weight loss and better health? Studies that examine where people live within time zones don't support this. Instead, they show a 10% increased risk of obesity at the western edge of the time zone where sun rises and sets later. Studies show waking earlier on weekdays compared to weekends, which we call social jet lag, is associated with increased obesity. The greater the difference in sleep timing, the greater the risk. The risk of obesity is also greater in night owls, known as evening chronotypes, than it is in morning larks. Dr. Farrell, why might daylight savings time increase obesity? So sleep loss and circadian disruption are associated with poor dietary choices. Studies have shown that sleep deprived teenagers have more cravings and consume more sugary drinks and high calorie foods, and they eat fewer fruits and vegetables. Sleep loss and circadian disruption also cause changes in metabolism, blood glucose levels, and hormone levels that control hunger and the feeling of fullness, all of which can promote weight gain. The effects of circadian disruption are particularly problematic in children. Study after study show that sleep loss and circadian disruption lead to lifelong health problems like increased risk for obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and heart problems. 
In this video, we discussed that especially in the United States, there's no evidence that daylight saving time increases physical activity in adults or children, although it can change the time of day that we exercise. Daylight saving time can increase the risk of sports injury and reduce sports performance. Lastly, sleep loss and circadian misalignment due to daylight savings time can increase the risk of obesity, type two diabetes, even after accounting for other factors like diet and exercise. To learn more about how to harness the full power of the sun after watching this video series, visit SaveStandardTime.com. Advocate by texting XST to 50409 to tell your legislators to end clock change now with permanent standard time.